Listen. Hey everyone, this is Nick and I'd like to welcome you back to the Data Hub collection. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect NiFi and Kafka within the CDP, the Cloudera Data Platform, ecosystem. For the example we're going to go over today, we've set up two Data Hub clusters to emulate what you would likely see deployed in the field. One Data Hub cluster will be dedicated to NiFi, which we will be using to create a flow that will generate some mock engine data from multiple sources and send it out to our Kafka service. The other Data Hub we spooled up is for Kafka, which will handle turning our data into a stream from which we can push to and receive from. We'll be using the Streams Messaging Manager to interact with Kafka, and the Schema Registry to help map the data between NiFi and Kafka. We'll be using a real-world scenario to demonstrate how these platforms could be used to help airlines both streamline their real-time engine data, as well as have a third party or another team tap into that data and execute logic that alerts whenever there's an issue. First, we're going to head into the Streams Messaging Manager on the cluster host in Kafka. To do this, select your cluster in CDP and click on the SMM box. This is mostly what we'll be interacting with our Kafka cluster. Within Streams Messaging Manager, we have a nice UI to interact with Kafka. In order to send messages out, we'll need to create a new topic. In this case, we're going to use some make-believe airlines. We'll call them Cloud Airways and Wishful Airlines as examples. You'll see when creating a topic that there are various levels of data availability and retention. If you have data that needs to be heavily accessed, you can choose to use more resources for a given topic. Here you can also choose a cleanup policy, which tells Kafka what to do with the data once it's been passed in and processed. These topics are going to serve as streams into which we'll be passing data to and requesting data back from. We'll also be leveraging the schema registry to provide Kafka with the format of the data that it'll be receiving. Here, we've created two schemas named after our made-believe airlines that house the schema for the data we'll be passing in from NiFi. That's all the setup we'll need to do on the Kafka side for now. Moving on to NiFi, we're going to set up a flow file creator that will load with dummy data in a CSV format. Here, you can see that we're outputting four engine IDs and a health status for each one. To push these statuses over to Kafka, we'll create a Kafka publisher into which we'll give it the schema we created earlier, as well as a topic to publish to. Behind the scenes here, we'll be taking advantage of the integrated Kerberos authentication available to us in CDP. Since we have two airlines, we'll make two of these flows, which each gets sent to their respective topics via a Kafka publisher. NiFi makes this extremely easy to do thanks to the modular nature of the flow layout. Since our schemas are the same, all we have to do is update the topic name, and now we've added another airline to our flow. Now that everything's ready to go, we can go ahead and start these processes. You can see the data begin to flow from our data generators successfully into the topics in Kafka. Here, you can also apply logging or error handling if you'd like by expanding on either the success or the failure paths. If we go back and look at our streams messaging manager, we can confirm the data is making it through in the format we expect. Here, you can see it leveraging our schema to properly format the messages we're sending over from NiFi. From here, the end users can subscribe to either or both topics in order to capture and act upon the stream of data. This can be anything from maintenance data aimed at reducing operation costs, to potential life-saving data that could alert the pilot if the engine is at risk of imminent failure. Thanks a lot for watching today. Please let us know in the comments if there are any topics that you'd like us to cover in the future, and subscribe to be notified whenever any new videos are released. If you have any questions about CDP, make sure to check out the Cloudera community. There's a link in the description below that'll take you there.